Let's take a look at the page setup. So I'll come back here to page setup in the print group, select it by clicking it. And notice that you have four tabs. You have the page tab, margins, header, footer, and sheet. Let's look first at the page tab. This should look somewhat familiar to you if you're used to working with other versions of Excel or other software applications. You can set your orientation to portrait or landscape. You can adjust the scaling of your document to either increase it by a percentage size, and you can do that by simply clicking these arrows, or you can type in exactly what you want your size to be by simply typing it. You can also cause this to fit or have Excel choose how the page fits, but you designate maybe you want it to fit to one page wide by one page tall, which is the default, or you could set it to two pages or two pages, anything you want here. It's just so many pages wide by so many pages tall. You can choose your paper size, you can choose your print quality, as well as you can set what you want your page number, your first page number to be. Right now it's set to auto, which will always do page one first, but if you wanted it to start at page 10, you would simply highlight that and type in 10 would be your first page number. Let's click the margins tab and take a look at what's offered here. Notice that here you can set your margins. And again, you can use the little triangles to increase or decrease. You can also simply type in what you want that margin to be. You also can set the size of your header or footer. Maybe you want it to go up just slightly in size for both the header and the footer area. As well as you can center this on the page horizontally and vertically. This is a nice little preview feature as you set your margins and your header and footer and center on the page. It will give you a preview of how your data will flow. We also have a header footer tab. Let's go ahead and select that. In here you can add a header and a footer. These are preset headers and footers. And if you click over here, right now I'm looking at my headers, on this drop down arrow, I have a list of various headers that I can choose from and by selecting them it is already pre-formatted and it will create that information for your header. You can do the same thing for your footer. Maybe I want it to say page one of how many pages are in my document. So this is page one of one. This is also where you can set to have a different footer for your odd and even pages. You can set a different first page header and footer. You can scale with your document, and that means you're going to scale the size of the header and footer based on how you set the size of your document. And that kind of comes back here to page, where you adjust it to fit in different sizes, or to fit to two pages, or so many pages wide by so many pages tall. You can also align the header and footer with the page margins. You can also click the Sheet tab by selecting that. And here you can set your print area by typing in the range of cells that you might want to print. You can print titles and this would be a way that if you had a very large worksheet if you wanted to make sure your column titles or your row titles show on each sheet you would go ahead and select that and you would set the range of where your rows are and where your columns are. We'll work with this later in the course. You have a print area which allows you to print your grid lines. You can print in black and white, draft quality, or row and column headings. Now row and column headings is different than titles. What this option will allow you to do is actually print the A, B, C, D, the alphabetical labeling of your columns and the one, two, three or the numeric labeling of your rows on your worksheet. You can print comments if you have them. Right now I don't have any so this is grayed out. You can also print cell errors as displayed on your worksheet and you can turn this off or make it non-applicable. This is a nice feature as it will allow you to have a hard copy of your worksheet displaying any cells that might have problems and you can go back and fix them then. You can change your page order by default it's down over and then down but you can make it over and then down and these are all the various features that make up the page setup area. Let's go ahead and say OK to that this brings us back to our print preview and notice that now it fits on one page wide by one page tall.
which I set in my page setup. Note that you have a zoom up here in your print preview ribbon and if I select that I will zoom in on my worksheet or zoom out and the same thing will occur if I bring my mouse into my preview. If I click it once it will zoom in and click again it will zoom out. You also have a preview group which will allow you to jump from page to page. These are grayed out because I am at one page wide by one page tall. You can also show margins and then very easily and quickly adjust those margins by just clicking and dragging. You can also close the print preview without printing by clicking the close button. This is what I'm going to do is to go ahead and close this. And now to apply these features that I just showed you, please open up your product list. If you'd like to open up a clean copy of the product list that reflects the development up to this point in the tutorial, you can do that by going to your office button, choosing open, and then navigating to where you have saved your course directory. Mine is in documents, so I'll go ahead and select Documents. There's Excel 2007. I'll go ahead and open that up. And within the Chapter 04, you will find the 0408 Start File. Go ahead and open that up if you like or use your product list. And then experiment and practice with printing by choosing your Office button and then pulling down to the Print Menu choice and try a few prints of your document, setting various options, try the quick print, and also go into print preview and set some options and features there. When you are done, please continue on to the next movie.